Oh, do time for another beer review. This time we're going to Evil Twin Brewing. For some people are immune to good advice. Maple Bourbon Barrel Age Stout. It's coming in at 10.7%. We've got a big bottle. Look at that. And um, this was a present for my birthday back in October. Um, one of my best mates, Steve Kenyon, bought me it. So cheers again, mate, for getting me this. Um, greatly appreciated. So um, it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing friends for any time soon. It's a good size to share, but he did say he wanted to get me a pint of Imperial Stout for my birthday. So um, yeah, it is a pint bottle. So I think it's I think it's a US pint. So um, I'm not sure on the measurements. Oh, smells boozy. Oh, lovely glug. Oh, right. Let's put that ball down. Jet black, as you'd expect. No light getting through that at all. We've got a real mocha. Closer to brown head, the head, it looks creamy, but it's going, it's going. Um, I'll give it a little wiggle, see if I can get it back, but no, it's, um, I don't think it's going to have much, uh, it's got slight legs on it. Let's get the nose. Oh, it smells absolutely beautiful. Boozy, woody, slight vanilla note. That maple syrup's there as well, but it's not real punchy sometimes when i get uh maple syrup in imperial stouts it can be so really really intense it smells so there's a hint of chocolate there this smells the part this smells the part really really good on the nose really really encouraging before i've gone in um it looks like it's got a cracking body on it on the eye right let's dive in cheers everybody cheers again steve cheers mate Beautiful. It's got a real thick mouthfeel. You get him up front, you get him the battle aging. It's boozy. You can tell you're drinking a strong beer. In fact, I would have thought it was maybe slightly stronger than, than 10.3. Is that 10.7? Sorry. Um, up front you're getting booze you're getting a hint of the bourbon um, you're getting the vanilla notes off it and the woodiness there's a little nutty note to it gently carved thick body you get a slight bitterness on the finish and then the maple syrup kind of comes in in the aftertaste it's not an intense maple syrup it's just a slight maple syrup but it's just enough for you to know it's there without it becoming overpowering for me it's perfectly balanced it's exactly the right level of maple syrup for me there's chocolate notes in it it's beautiful beautiful beer really good and i'm just glad that it's in a really big bottle and it's locked down and my wife doesn't like Imperial Stouts. Because <laughs> it's all for me. Yeah, really, really nice. Um, my favourite features of it are probably the body. Um, and the maple syrup in the aftertaste. I do like, I just think everything is just so like subtle. And it just makes it really nice. The fact you've got this subtle bourbon feeling like it, it smells boozy but it doesn't feel like it's overly boozy um i just think it's so well balanced for a, a beer if it's abv um yes so i am going to recommend it as i say it was a present so um i've got an idea where he got it i'm guessing trembling madness but um if you see it about get it because it, it's a cracker um really good for a bottle share so that is 
some people are immune to good advice and i think with the way the world is right now i think that's a very very apt being in so listen to the advice you're not immune you know what i mean right i'm getting playful um thanks for watching cracking beer i'll edit to me american playlist where i've reviewed some other american beers and on to the next one